It's been a while, huh? I have taken so much time off that Paramore have come back and that's a motivator for anyone to get back on it. So if you're a nerd like me and let's face it you are, you may have wondered how roller coasters are designed, how Nemesis fits so perfectly in its pit, how the geniuses thought of putting four Heartline rolls followed by a fifth on Colossus, and how nearly every modern Mac has a hidden penis in the layout somewhere, yes including Exodus. Well in reality, roller coasters are made through a mixture of maths, engineering and a lot of bumps in the road. I don't know what you thought I was talking about, but no, just bumps in the road. But I had an even more cocaine fueled idea. What if we took all of the fun and excitement of creating roller coasters and gave it the same treatment as your dad and replaced it with AI? I wanted to find out if you could use AI to help create roller coasters. And no, I don't mean pressing autocomplete on Planet Coaster. To do this, I collected nearly 100 top down layouts of roller coasters from a lot of different ride types across the world, including Kumba, uh, Troy at Toverland and stealth, you know, we're getting unique here. And I put them into an AI image learning software, which took eight fucking hours to process. I got so bored I watched Digital Dan videos. Well, I say watched, I put them on in the background while I napped. Dan, I'm kidding. I don't watch your videos. <laughs> I don't know why you're catching strays, but it's funny. I don't care. <laughs> Anyway, enough slander, I'm done. Over the eight hours, the AI analyzed, God, that's really fucking hard to say. Over the eight hours, the AI analyzed. Okay. <laughs> Over the eight hours, the AI analyzed, oh my God, I need to pronounce my T in there. Because if I say eight, then I go eight hours, AI analyzed. I can't. Over the eight hours, the AI analyzed all of those top-down squiggles and tried to make sense of them. And they tried creating their own. And at first they were, ah, uh, what's a good word? Uh, shit. They were, they were shit. They were really, really shit. But as the AI learned, it started to get better and better and worse and better until we finally had something that looked a little bit like a roller coaster. So I collected the best ones, cleaned them up and sent them off to three of the best NL2 designers I know who didn't respond. So I sent them off to Jamie, Tyler and Tom instead. They chose to work on this one and I gave them two weeks to create three unique designs. So here we are 16 months later and we finally have our video. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and for these three roller coasters, Jamie has made an RMC style single rail, Tom has made a hillside launch coaster, and Tyler has made an Intamin style mega coaster. And I didn't make a single thing because I'm a walking leech. Also, I'm kind of out of practice with all of this like foozy terminology and stuff like that. So I'm not really gonna analyze them too hard because I don't want comments of, oh, you called this a Bulgarian twice twisting velocity knot when in reality it's a 90 degree double extrusion flick flack double down. Just shut, shut up, go outside. Like I, there's people like you could go and just go outside or at least take a shower. Just like leave me alone. So into the rides. So Jamie has made an RMC single rail coaster with enough airtime and lats to comatose a small Victorian child. It's got two inversions, the silly flat turn RMC like to do that does nothing and a cutback with so much banking it make the icon inversion debate look civil. He also used the little egg shaped sections to create the S sections that a lot of the single rails use that genuinely look like you need conditioning to go through. And as you can see by this view, it does go by the map. Next, Tom made a hillside launch coaster with a couple references to Tiger at Linenmarki, with two big inversions focusing on the drop off the exit and a final roll for funsies at the end. Something I did notice is that it looks completely different to the single rail in terms of layout, but as you can see from this top down, it does also fit and it's nearly identical. I'll have the full POV of all three of these rides at the end of the video so you can watch them in full if you want to. Finally, Tyler made an Intamin mega coaster with all pretty fancy lighting. Look at me, I know how to change the sky in no limit. It's give me all the money and attention in the world. You can tell I don't really know what I'm on about anymore. Anyway, airtime focused ride with still plenty of low to the ground interactions and crossovers kind of feels like something you'd find in some Japanese park you've never heard of. And as you can see, still follows the same plot, still all the same ride. Three completely different rides with the same bird's eye view. So from those three, what have we actually learned? Well, if you're here on this channel for educational purposes, you're on the wrong side of YouTube. This is the brain rot side of the community. Anyway, although the AI did think of the path for this ride, you still needed the creativity to come up with the inversions and the placements and all the heights 
and everything like that. But technically, it is still possible to have AI help you make a roller coaster. You just need the correct creative minds after that to finish the product. And I can't believe that I just called those three creative minds. It makes me slightly sick, actually. Anyway, that's the end of this little experiment. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please share it around with your mates and share it on Twitter, because I feel like after a four month break, the algorithm's gonna fuck me hard on this one. And also let me know in the comments which one of these three was your favorite. Uh, I'll leave the POVs running after my outro so that you can get those. And I'll also leave some of the alternative layouts on my Twitter, which is at calvickers33, so that if you did want to have a go at this yourself, you have the layouts that the AI generated to work from. But that's it. And it's been a while since I've said this, but thank you for watching. And I promise I'll see you very soon.